Hi guys, this is my Skywatch 2. Welcome to my channel, and I'm going to do some um, testing of this of the metals on these pieces. This I ask everybody if they knew, um, and I haven't gone back to look at the comments. What this CP was? This right here, and that is Carolyn Pollock. She's a Southwestern designer, and this was designed in sterling silver and brass and copper. So this is a really, really nice piece here. I'll probably make my money back on my jewelry jar with this piece. And um, But I do want to test some of these. I'm not going to test this one because I know her brand, and I'm, and yeah. I, it doesn't need testing. But anyway. Oh, we're going to do some testing. So I'm going to get up the stone. Uh, we're going to be testing for 14 carat. Of course, I don't see it in here. Look how this has corroded the inside of this. I don't know if y'all can tell. This little tin used to be perfect. Now it's rusting everywhere. So this stuff you really have to be careful with when you're working with it. You need to be wearing gloves. This is the scratching stone that you use. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I just had to get a few more things. Like I said, you should be wearing gloves when you do this. I have a pair of little yellow gloves here I always wear. And you can see that the acid hadn't eaten through them, but yeah, they're pretty worn and pretty dark. And this is, that would be my fingers. And I don't want that, so. Um, let's do this chain first. And see what we get. We're gonna scratch it on this. We're going to take this and, and dot it, and then we're going to take a little Q-tip, and we're going to rub it back and forth, and see, there is no blood stain. There's a dark stain, but it should be red, so that is not sterling. Next was this little Avon piece. I'm going to scratch the, doesn't hurt the jewelry, and I don't think this is going to be silver either, because I see a little copper undertone there, but I do see the red, so we'll see. And there's that. I don't see any red. I see gray, but no red. Unless that's some right there. And you can't see that. Nope, that's gray. See, and then it fades away. So that's not sterling. And let's try this one. This little bracelet here. I really need to get me some uh, paper towels. Those. I don't like to lay these Q-tips. I'm just shoving everything around here. Okay, let's try this bracelet. And I believe this one's gonna be silver. So hopefully we'll see that little blood stain I'm telling you about. Nope. 
Nothing. I'm going to do run that one again. Let's see, was that one magnetic? Yep. See that? And it didn't test to be sterling either. Now the I'm going to test the um, closure here. We'll see what happens there. Because it is marked. See the blood stain there? Looks like a, a little blood stain that tells you it's silver. So the clasp on this is silver. That's what I rubbed, the lobster claw. But the chain itself is a mixed metal because it did not come out at all. I'm going to rub it clean and give it one more try on the chain itself. One more time. Oh, and it turned very red. So I must not have rubbed hard enough. And there may be some work within here. That definitely, you saw me rub it, did turn out sterling. So sometimes it's good to second test your your things here's this little box that's March this little prayer box I'm gonna love it real good doesn't hurt the jewelry Excuse me, I have an itchy nose, itchy nose. Very red. See that blood stain look? Now let's do the chain. So I'm gonna do it good and hard. There's a lot of silver looking there. There we go. We're going to take this and rub it. Oh, yeah. There again, you have that blood stain look. So that's silver. Let's try this chain. Rub this off real quick. Got these cute little socks today at Goodwill. I'll show them to you before I mess them up. It's ramen noodles for the children. Sometimes when they come over here, they don't have something they need. And I always keep a drawer full of things. I pick up things as I see them that they might need when they're over here. That they forgot to bring. I'm gonna test this part of it. This is this part I'm testing. And I'm also gonna test the chain. The chains are always hard for me to scratch. That's the chain I'm trying to scratch. Doesn't look real promising. And then 
this one. We're going to do the chain first. I mean that little closure first. You see it's gray, so that's not silver. And I don't believe the chain is either. give it one more test in case I just didn't get it good I feel like I'm rubbing it off as soon as I'm rubbing it on it's hard to get a good grip See, I see a copperish color in there, which tells me it's still not going to be silver. So I'm probably wasting my fluid here. And again, it's gray. So that's not silver. And I wanted to test this. Let me clean this off first. I don't want to get any contamination. False readings. Okay, here we go. Scratching like it's over. And yes, it's silver. So that's silver too, and that's a turquoise. Yes, yay. Hubby said yay. This one I don't think is going to be because I see a little gold color in that. Which tells me there's a copper base in there, which maybe was why it wasn't magnetic. No, two tip. And there you go, that's gray. Nope. Okay, let me wipe this off. And what was I going to do? Let's do this ring. We'll do the ring here. And I already see copper, a copper undertone there. I wanted to do this necklace. I wanted to do the clasp. I think I see a copper undertone on that too, which explains why these pieces are not magnetic. And that too. Remember, the pieces were not magnetic. But that doesn't always mean they're silver. And then we'll show it. Let's see. This one was the ring. Got the gray reading. This one was the clasp of the necklace. Again, I don't see any red. And then this was the little disc of the necklace. And it's gray also. 
So that's, none of those are silver, but they're not magnet, magnetic because they have a copper base to them. This one I want to test for gold. And this one I want to test for gold. So I'm going to get out a different stone. Clean this one off. You never want to put the acid right directly on the metal. You'll ruin the piece because it just eats right through it. You want to scratch the metal and then test the scratch. So we need a different solution for that. And the way you do this is you start with the lowest 10 carat and go to a higher one. If it, if it shows it's completely 10 carat, then you go to the next one. And you see this is eating through my glove finally. Yay, yay. I need to get some new gloves. Ooh. I hope that didn't get on my finger. Wash your finger off. Yeah. All right, hold on, everybody.